Hi friends, this is Pratyanshu. Today I discuss identity. What is identity? For any value of A, for any value of A in algebraic expression, in algebraic expression, left hand side equal to right hand side true for true for every value of the variable true for every value of the variable in it it's called identity. It's called an identity. It's called an identity. For any value of A in algebraic expression, if LHS is or we can say left hand side equal to right hand side, then true for every value of the variable in it is called identity. Let's have some standard identity which are discussed in this video standard identity standard identity is first if we multiply it a plus b into a plus b then distributive law or distributive law of multiplication then a multiplied by a plus b plus b multiplied by a plus b then again a into a in one bracket plus a into b in one bracket plus b into a in one bracket plus b into b in one bracket now this is a square plus a b plus a b or b a plus b square these two terms are like term so combine them a square plus 2 a b plus b square so this is a identity this is a standard identity a plus b whole square equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square if i put the value of b is minus b or b is replaced by minus b or b is replaced by minus b then we can say second identity a minus b square equal to a square minus 2ab plus b square this is the second standard identity which is true for every value of the variable let's now discuss one more identity if i multiply it a plus b into a minus b then distributive law of multiplication a is multiplied by a minus b plus b is multiplied by a minus b again a and a a square a into b minus a b plus b into a minus b square these are like terms so subtract or cancel now take in a square minus b square so this is the third standard identity which is a plus b into a minus b equal to a square minus b square. This is the third standard identity. So now the application of identity, one more identity which you solve in homework, if I take x plus a and x plus b then it is equal to x square plus a plus b x plus 
AB. For this, for the proof of this identity, solve in home. And if you have any problem, then comment me in the comment section of this video. Now discuss some application of these identity in next page. Solve these two example. In first example, apply a minus b whole square. So this is 4 p ka whole square plus 3 q whole square minus 2 into 4 p into 3 q which is equal to 4 p square is 16 p square plus 9 q square minus 2 4 ja 8 3 ja 24 p q. So this is the required answer. Again this is a plus b and this is a minus b where a is 3 by 2m and b is 2 by 3n. Apply a plus b into a minus b which is equal to a square minus b square. Put the value of a and b so 3 by 2 m whole square minus 2 by 3 n whole square. Now this is 9 by 4 m square minus 4 by 9 n square. This is your required answer. This is the required answer. So this is the application of or this is how I apply identities into solve algebraic expression. One more example if I discuss if I multiply it 501 into 502 these both are close to 500 so I express as 500 plus 1 and 500 plus 2 this is expression as x plus a and x plus v so the value of x is 500 value of a is 1 and value of b is 2 so apply the identity x square plus a plus b x plus a b so now now if i take identity x square 500 square plus 500 a plus b sorry a plus b so this is 1 plus 2 into x which is 500 plus a b 1 into 2 so the answer is is 25 40 plus 3 into 500 it is 1500 plus 2 now the answer is 2 0 251525 251502 this is your answer so please download the scholar learning app and if you already download this then enjoy learning thanks to watching this video